My name is Heather Oset and I'm 29 years old. I had the loop duodenal switch on January uh, 18th, 2017. I was 356 pounds and now I'm 125 pounds. I basically struggled with weight problems like since childhood um, and it just never got better and I just kept gaining the weight and it got to a point where it was really affecting like my life and my work and my health. I was always heavy as a child just from bad eating habits and like a stressful home life and I basically ate my feelings. Yes, it was extremely difficult. I was often made fun of for my weight and it was very hard. Yes, I'm a hairdresser and I was overweight when I first started this career. Uh, being on my feet for more than eight hours a day because I easily could work 10, 12 hour days, it was starting to really affect me because I had problems standing and working and it was really starting to affect my job. So I was borderline diabetic, I had hypertension, I had sleep apnea, and I also had a health scare that landed me in the ER that really put things in perspective for me and I knew I needed to do something about my weight. Honestly, like I've tried everything. I've tried Jenny Craig, I tried Weight Watchers, I've tried every single diet. A coworker of mine suggested it because she knew like I was, I, I tried changing my eating habits and that still wasn't enough to lose the weight. And she had suggested it after her mother-in-law actually uh, came to Garden State Bariatrics and had surgery. She had the bypass and she was really successful in her weight loss. And I never thought bariatric surgery would be an option for me. So after talking with Dr. Rusizian and Bella and the rest of the team at Garden State, I basically I had the choice. I made the decision to have the loop do deal switch because I felt like I needed to lose the most weight that I could possibly lose. And it just seemed like the right decision at the time. And I'm so glad I did. I didn't think like it would be possible. It was just amazing that I was able to actually do this. I didn't think it was possible. I am no longer uh, pre-diabetic. I don't have hypertension. I don't have sleep apnea, so I don't have to use the machine at night. And I'm able to stand all day at work and I'm able, like I have my health back. I have my life back. And for me, the biggest reason too, I want to start a family. And now that's a possibility. Like I'm able to eventually start a family and that means the world to me. Well, I'm able to fit in a booth at a diner or a restaurant, which was always a big thing for me. I'll never forget the first time that happened to me. It was uh, me and my husband went to our local, local diner and usually he'll be like, oh, you want a table or a booth? And I'll be like, oh, you know, table. Like I'm not gonna sit in a booth because obviously I'm not gonna fit. So the lady, the waitress brought us over and of course she put us in a booth and I'm thinking, oh man, I'm not gonna fit in this booth and I'm gonna feel fat. And this was like a couple months after surgery. It might've been like four or five months post-op and I fit in that booth. And I just remember just having the biggest smile on my face and my husband, I just stared at him. He didn't even have to, he, did, he just knew. He like knew that was like my moment that I actually fit in a booth and I didn't have to worry about you know, putting my stomach over the table or trying to maneuver into this booth. I dated him my senior year in high school and he was already graduated. So he already knew me when I was overweight. And I, at that point, I probably was like 230 something. But since we had been together, I had gained like another 130 something pounds. And he never said anything about my weight. And I asked him after my surgery, you know, how come you never told me like or said anything about my weight. And he was like, honestly, I never saw you like that. He didn't see me like that. And I always joke it was like a shallow how thing going on, but he just, he loved me for me and he still loves me for me. So that's, it, he's just amazing. Uh, I had a lot of uh, salon clients that um, I haven't seen in a while or when we, we eventually we moved salon locations from, uh, Milburn Ave to Essex Street. And a lot of them were like, oh, whatever happened to that really heavy set girl? She didn't come over here with you guys. And my coworker was good, like, yeah, she did. She just lost like over hundreds of pounds. So yeah, she's still here. 
They actually, they won't come up to me because they're like, I don't want to say anything because I'm not sure if that's her or not. If I changed my hair color because I had blue hair when I was 356 pounds, they really wouldn't even recognize me. Only the blue hair kind of clues them in. I like hearing that they're like, I'm so glad you did this for your health because that was like the number one thing for me. And the, in the beginning, I'm not gonna lie, when people said, oh, you're so beautiful. And they're like, not like you weren't before. Cause I'm like, that kind of made me feel like maybe I didn't look my best. And one thing I know for sure, like I always had makeup on, I always dressed a certain way. And that's one thing that hasn't changed since surgery for me. I still dress the same way, just smaller clothes. And now not so, like I don't mind so much. Cause in the beginning, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of was off putting hearing it all the time but now I'm just so used to it. It's just, it's a life-changing event and I'm just so glad that I was able to have this opportunity and this chance to have an actual life. Um, it's just amazing to me how far I've come and I never thought I would lose all my excess weight. Like I would have been happy if I had just lost 100 pounds because that would have meant I was just 100 pounds healthier than I was. Never did I think in my wildest dreams that I would weigh 125 pounds today. And I'm just amazed at this whole process and I'm just so happy to eventually start my family and I have my health back and it's no longer holding me back. Literally my weight is no longer holding me back. Definitely do your research, uh, talk to people, I know a lot of people reach out to me on my Instagram asking me questions and I try to help. I go to support group every month still at the ambulatory care center and I love it. Like I don't miss a meeting. Like I literally will not book any clients because I'm like, I have to go, I have support group. And it's just amazing. I love meeting people on their journeys, whether it be the beginning or before their surgery. and. I just love helping people and hearing their experiences and struggles.